get on the road to Jannah You and me hand in hand on the road to Jannah All my life I've had this dream where I can live in peace Knowing you and me are on the road, on the road Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam Welcome to a new episode of our program Ila al-Jannati Zumara Together to Paradise As we said the name of this program is extracted from an ayah in the Quran Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ رَبَّهُمْ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ زُمَرَ And those who were conscious of their Lord in this life Will come on the Day of Judgment and they'll be taken in groups Together to Paradise And subhanAllah if we notice this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ And those who were conscious of their Lord Those who were conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Were the ones that were taken in, gro that were taken in groups together to Paradise So why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not say and those sisters that wore hijab will be taken in groups together to paradise or those brothers who grew their beards will be taken in groups together to paradise or those people who tried their hardest to become good Muslims will be taken in groups together to paradise or those who prayed will be taken in groups together to paradise or those who paid zakah or those who went to hajj or any of these things you know why? because see my dear brothers and sisters if you have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you'll do all these other things then you'll pray then you'll fast then our sisters will wear hijab then our dear brothers will start growing their beards all of these things will come automatically once we have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see what is this word taqwa we all know you know this word taqwa and we can we hear someone saying to another person taqillah have you know have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but what does that really mean what does it mean to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what it means is that as Muslims we should be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are many definitions that the scholars said about taqwa but there's one definition that's really measurable and what I mean by really really measurable is that you at the end of the day you can see what kind of uh, person you are at that point where your taqwa stands for that specific day and the definition of that is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finds you wherever He commanded you to be and that He does not find you where He commanded, did not command you to be so any place that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find us in for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to pray Fajr on time so it comes Fajr time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find us standing in prayer that is having taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to stay away from, from, from the haram, from going to nightclubs or these types of haram activities, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never find us at these places. We have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to be and to stay away from the places that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us not to be. At the same time, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, اللَّهَ حَيْثُمَا كُنْتْ Be conscious of Allah wherever you are, wherever is at whatever time and whatever place every single place that we're in we should have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the people of taqwa have a great reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, they are the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the most no one is more loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the muttaqeen and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many places in the Quran says that He loves the muttaqeen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love is for those who are conscious of Him and one of the best ways to know that if you have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not is to understand that to see for yourself when you're alone, when you're by yourself are you following the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or are you not? are you only doing it in front of people? as you know a famous saying says لا تكن بين الناس قديس وفي خلوتك إبليس do not be a very straight person in front of people and then within yourself when you're by yourself you become like shaitan you become like iblis see my dear brothers and sisters the people of taqwa are the people who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna allaha ma'al muttaqeen if you want the ma'iyya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be with you in your every action then have taqwa of Allah then be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you in your, in your every action 
and one of the best things about taqwa is a great ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَ وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And whoever is conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make a way out for him and will grant him sustenance from places that he did never, never expected. See, this has been tried by many people and you've probably seen it in your life many times. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you sustenance and every type of sustenance you can expect, whether it's your job, whether it's in your spouse, whether it's in your children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you great sustenance and will get you out of every single trial and tribulation that you can imagine from places that you never expected and will grant you the sustenance from places that you never expected if you have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ اللَّهُ and be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will teach you. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your every action and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will teach you. If you are trying to learn the Qur'an, my dear sister, be conscious of Allah and Allah will help you learn it. But if you are trying to learn the Qur'an and you're not able to memorize it, go back and see if you are a person who has taqwa of Allah. If you are having taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's much, much more, you're much, much more likely to be a person who is having taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who will be able to learn the deen. Um, I want to tell you a story about a Muslim Imam who travels all around the US to talk to Muslim communities about many issues. And this Muslim Imam uh, you know, likes always to talk about the subject of taqwa because he believes that it is one of the most fundamental things that we need as a Muslim ummah today. See my dear brothers and sisters, if the Muslim ummah had taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would be in a much, much better situation. We'd be in much, much better shape if we had taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it is on the individual level or on the society level, whether it's on the level of the government or whether it's on the level of the family. Every single person, see, some people, this dichotomy that we have right now is that some people have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes to you know, some of their issues in their life. You find the brother who has taqwa of Allah and he goes to the masjid and he prays at night, but when it comes to divorce, he doesn't have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You'll find a sister who has taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when she puts her on her hijab while she's going inside of the masjid. But that taqwa is removed from her once she takes her hijab off in the parking lot of the masjid. See, see this, these issues that we have? And of course, there are many things to go either way. There are issues where we as Muslims are having taqwa sometimes, but we're not having taqwa at other times. And the main problem is that most likely we're having taqwa in public, but we're not having taqwa in private. That is a big, big issue. If we have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in public, alhamdulillah, it's a good thing. But if you're finding yourself that you're not having taqwa of Allah in private, then know that you're in great danger. You're in great danger of being simply a person who's showing off, who's not really having taqwa because you want to be a person who's conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, you're doing it because people see you. And the test that you can test yourself with during that um, specific time is to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be feared and should, you should fear Him at all times. All times, whether it's in front of people or not in front of people. You should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times. So this Imam, uh, going back to the story, this Imam came and he was given a talk once in the state of Kentucky. In the state of Kentucky, he was talking to the Muslim sisters and brothers there, and he told them, you as Muslims, uh, Muslim sisters and brothers in the state of Kentucky should be more conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than any other brothers and sisters in the U.S. And they told him why. You know, they thought this was something that he just, you know, as a way of getting them to love the concept of taqwa, that he will just sell this to any Muslim community that he goes to. But in reality, he was only saying it to them. So they asked him why. And he told them, because you live in a state that's called Kun Taqi. You live in a state of Kentucky, Kun Taqi, be Taqi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, they took it as a joke and they lightened the mood up uh, a little bit. But uh, in reality, we as Muslims should be people who are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times. 
If we do that, then we will receive the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll receive the ma'iyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with us. And most importantly, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And whoever is conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make a way out for him and will grant him sustenance from places that he never expected. Jazakumullah khayran. I'll see you next time, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Together we can make it on the road to Jannah. You and me hand in hand on the road to Jannah. Together we can make it on the road to Jannah. You and me hand in hand on the road to Jannah. All my life I've had this dream where I can live in peace knowing you and me are on the on the road, on the road, on the road